Hi guys, this is another review. This time it's on another loco. Uh, this time in TTS Sound in the railroad range. And let's see what it is, shall we? On the side, shall we? It is if the camera focuses on that and zooms in. There you go. It's the Flying Scotsman in TTS Sound and it's DCC fitted. So, if I get the camera to zoom out. So, this is a unboxing of the train. So, that's what it's, is on the back of the box. And nothing on the side or the bottom except join the Hornby club and that's the website so further ado let's unbox it uh, yes I know things just falling out the box and there she is so first things first Let's have a look at the usual things what failed out the thing. The instructions. As you can see, these are normal standard instructions for this kind of loco. Just trying to get zoom out a bit more. So I can get the entire instructions on camera instead of me going up and down up down so let's open the thing you can see where to oil it where the accessories go and where the plug is and on the back tells you about that so that's one booklet there's one more booklet da -da. another sound one uh, so the basic, the CVs, Hornby CVs, uh, stuff like that. And then if we turn the page, all things, you can see there is all that. So if I can just get the camera to focus there and just zoom in. There you go. You can see you've got all these sound decoders up to 18. So, yeah. So that's the normal thing. But before I go and open this box to get the loco right, there's one quick thing we need to look at. It said accessories. The accessory pack, it's right. If I get my hand to my thumb, right where my thumb is, that's where the accessories are. So, what we do, let's get this opened. Um, so, what I need to get in my hand, I have now got it is this time a pair of scissors because it's holded in by stair tape and I'm doing it just a bit Camera out and we'll be back in a minute. Hey, I'm back. Um, that's now sorted out. Um, so let's get her out of the box properly. Uh, but this is going to be really tricky to do um, because she's wired in as one unit and with the sound bits I think I'll be back 
soon as I Back. get this out the box. This time, uh, she's out the box. You can see the detail is quite good, very good, and stuff like that. I can't show you the entire model that well. You got good detail like a normal flying Scotsman. Um, so, what's the next step? I'm going to put her on the track. Uh, you will see her this time on the track, and I'll be back to you as soon as I've programmed her into the E Link system and um, show, her, show you guys running in. Guys, uh, I'm back again, and this time um, we are going to be listening to all the sounds of this loco. Um, we are, are connected to the E-Link system, so yeah, this would be the first time I have heard her making sound. And so I'm going to play all the sounds and then show you her running around my layout. So here it goes. It looks like most of the sounds don't want to be played at all, so I'm trying best I can. I think I know I have to wait for a minute, so what I'm going to do is go back to the top and try number two again. Well, it looks like that's all the sounds you probably hear. So I'm going to get her going around my layout. So 
Here it goes. First time I'm back back again, um, I found out there was just a bit of problem with the e-link connection to the track. So that's why. Well, now hopefully now I'll finish off this video. Fingers crossed. Yeah, we'll get to the place to shot. Okay. So, thank you for watching this review. Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave your comments below. Please click like if you like this video. And please, if you want to see more videos, please click the subscribe button if you want to see more. Thank you.